Okay, so today we're going to look at the role of Hippocrates and Galen in the history of medicine. Hippocrates, who was born in Kos in Greece in 460 BC, um, was the first physician to regard the body as a whole, so to be treated as one thing rather than individual parts. He became famous in Greece for these new ideas and he used these new and observation techniques to base himself around a brand new way of thinking and a brand new theory called the Four Humours. The Four Humours is the first scientific, although it was incorrect, but the first scientific model which medicine used to try and treat illness. The way it works that at different parts of the year and with different symptoms the person had, had lost a balance within their four humours, the blood, the yellow bile, the black bile and the phlegm. And if a person was to be healthy, Hippocrates believed that these had to be balanced. So he believed in the importance of observation and wrote around 60 textbooks, although a lot of them might be written by his followers, but the ideas of Hippocrates were put into 60 different Textbooks. He also believed that diet and rest were hugely important for a patient's recovery. And to many people, he is regarded as the father of medicine. In fact, even today, new doctors still take what they call the Hippocratic Oath. That is a promise that you would do your best as a doctor to do the best for the patient. The one man who really made a lot of use of Hippocrates' ideas was Galen, who was born in what is now Turkey in AD 130. Living and working in the Roman Empire, um, Galen studied medicine in Egypt before moving on to Rome. He took the ideas of Hippocrates way further. He practiced the dissection on animals in order to understand the human body. He never actually uh, dissected humans, um, but he did dissect animals. He worked for three years as a doctor in a gladiator school where he obviously saw inside the body with slash wounds and injuries and broken bones where his knowledge and techniques of how to deal with those injuries um, developed. He did believe in the theory of the four humours and emphasised the importance of listening to a pulse, um, checking vital signs such as temperature. His ideas profoundly influenced Western ideas of medicine for a very long time. In fact, even the Roman Catholic Church liked Galen because in Galen's teachings, he had the idea of a creator, a God figure at the centre. Even though he was using scientific methods, he had a spiritual element at the centre of his teachings. When Galen's work arrived in Europe via Islamic texts, translations were made in Italy around about 900 AD. Rapidly, they became accepted as university medical textbooks. In Salerno, where the translations were made, this was a stopping point on the route for people on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. So Galen's ideas rapidly spread as people passed through Salerno in Italy and then took the teachings on with them. Although both Hippocrates and Galen had a lot of holes in their teachings and proven to be wrong quite a few times. At this point, they were the accepted medical thinkers of their time. And even though they die off and, and been dead for a long time, their ideas live on after them. And it's not until the Renaissance period that people start to challenge those ideas.